Okay, so this is problem number 10 from chapter 8. We have a parallel RLC circuit, 2 microfarads for um, capacitance, 12.5 henrys for inductance, um, and the resistance is unknown. We have the voltage equation, general equation negative 11e to the negative 100t plus 20e to the negative 400t volts. And we are asked to find the general equation for inductant, the inductor current. Um, this problem actually ends up being trivially easy because we have an equation for it. We have all the things that we need to solve this. If you go back to the end of chapter 6 in the summary, the inductor equation for current is I at L of T, the general equation is 1 over L. V, C, T plus I, 0. We have everything we need. We have the voltage equation. We have the inductance, so we can just integrate. Now the question is, what is I, 0? Um, I naught. I naught is the current going through the inductor at time 0, not after, not at the time infinitesimally right after we start tracking things. Um, that's different. That's what we're looking for. The only way, this has to be zero because we don't have any, uh, any voltage source. The only way at, at time zero that you would have some kind of, um, of um, current through the inductor is if you had a voltage source here and it's shorting out the um, or a current source and it's shorting out the inductor. The inductor is shorting out the resistor and the cap isn't open and then you would have something Going in a current going in a loop, that would be the I zero. But in the case where we have no voltage source, this is zero. So now all we have to do is integrate. And that is really easy. So 1 over 12.5 um, times the integral of negative 11, 11 e to the negative 100 t plus 20, put that in parentheses, 20 e to the negative 400 t dt. Okay, um, you can either just straight up put that in the calculator or you can put this into your calculator. 5 times negative 11 over negative 100 e to the negative 100 t plus 20, 20 over negative 400, 400 e to the negative 400 t. Okay, well, when you put that into your calculator, you should get... You should get here for... Negative 11, negative, negative is positive, so this works out. I'm going to move this up here. Actually, let me get up here. So when you multiply that out, this works out to be in milliamps 2.2 e to the negative 100 t minus 16. Oops, hold on. Sorry, guys. My bad. Ah, where's my TI-89? Ah. So, we go. 11 divided by 12.5 times 100. That gives me 8.8 e to the negative 100 t plus, and then over here we go 20 divided by 12.5 times negative 400. This becomes minus 4 e to the negative 100 t. Okay, that is the general equation. This will give me 
all the um, the inductor the inductor current at any time I want. So, what does Mr. Nielsen and Ms. Rydell ask us to find? Well, they want us to find it at time right after we start tracking the infinitesimal moment right after zero. So, I else of zero then is equal to the zero in there, 8.8 .8 e to the zero minus 4 e to the zero milliamps, and that is 8.8 .8 minus 4, 4.8 milliamps. The end.